in the first session let's see what is a stored procedure so a stored procedure is a set of statements executed in some order these statements can be any of the sql statements like insert delete update select whatever it is okay so you may get a doubt so when we have already all this sql queries so why we go for stored procedures again okay so let's see when we write stored procedure so the first point is when there is a need to run set of sql statements together okay so in by using sql queries we can run a single query right but if there is a need that i want to run some statements together some set of statements like one one insert statement one update statement one delete statement i want to run all these statements together so in that scenario i can put all those statements in inside a stored procedure and i can execute that stored procedure okay the second one is dynamically prepare and execute the sql statements based on the parameters given so there can be a scenario like where i want to pass the table name or i want to pass the where condition through some parameters at the run time so in the normal sql queries we cannot do that right so we have to give the table name where conditions everything is hard coded but if i want to parameterize those things if i want to pass those parameter values dynamically at the run time and execute those sql statements i can do that by using a stored procedure okay so the third point is when there is a need to run sql statements based on some condition suppose i want to insert some data into a table so whenever some condition is true okay or i want to update the data when some condition is false so you have some idea on if else statements right so conditions means those conditions so we can evaluate those conditions by using if else statements so in a normal sql query it's not possible to evaluate uh, to it's not possible to execute the sql statements after evaluating those conditions but in stored procedure we can do okay fourth point is when there is a need to run one or more sql statements in loop suppose i have uh, some insert statement and i want to run that uh, statement repeatedly i want to run the statement 10 times or some number of times so it's not possible by using a normal sql query right so we have to put that sql statement inside some loop it can be a for loop or a while loop or a simple loop okay so in that scenario so we need to go for stored procedure okay so in in all these scenarios when the required functionality cannot be achievable by using normal sql queries so we write stored procedures okay it's a simple note in most of the databases we can write stored procedure using sql only so normal on premise databases like oracle or teradata mysql uh, sql server so we can write the stored procedures using only sql language but in snowflake we have a flexibility of writing procedures using javascript scala java python along with the sql so we can write stored procedures by using any of this language okay so but the procedures written using sql is called as snowflake scripting that is what i am going to explain in this course snowflake scripting so what is mean by snowflake script, scripting the stored procedures are the user defined functions written using the sql language in snowflake is called snowflake scripting okay so let's see how to create procedures and all so how can we create a stored procedure what is the syntax so this is the syntax create or replace procedure so we have to give the procedure name along with the parameters and returns so what is the uh, data type that we are going to return after executing this procedure and language so i just now i told we can write in any language right so what is the language we are using to write this procedure we have to specify and execute as so we'll discuss uh, this in the next slides or next sessions okay
and so this is the basic uh, top part and inside this dollar symbols we have to put the actual body of the code okay actual body of this program so it can be any sql statements or conditional statements or looping statements okay so whatever it can be that comes under the body of the program okay so how to execute or run our call stored procedure okay so this is the syntax just call space procedure name along with the parameter values okay so we use the call statement to run or execute the stored procedures in some databases okay so instead of call we use uh, execute execute underscore procedure name but in snowflake remember we can use uh, call underscore call space procedure name with the parameters okay suppose in future uh, if you realize there is no need of the this stored procedure so you can drop that procedure by using this drop statement drop space procedure name and uh, parameters within the braces okay thank you now let's see what are the blocks in the stored procedure suppose this is a sample stored procedure in this stored procedure we can see there are four sections create section this uh, topper part is the create section and declaration section where we declare the variables and the body section so where we write the actual code and at the end we have exception section where we handle the exceptions okay so there are total four blocks or four sections in the stored procedure let's see in detail what we have in the four blocks or four sections okay so the first thing is create section so in the create section we put the statements like uh, create or replace procedure statement okay so this is the actual statement statement which creates the procedure okay so the syntax will be like create or replace procedure procedure name okay and the list of parameters and uh, corresponding data types we have to give then returns i already told so here we have to give the data types or uh, the table name which we are going to return at the end of the stored procedure and language okay so it can be sql or javascript or scala or python whatever uh, the language we are using to write the stored procedure we have to mention that then the comment is not a mandatory um, mandatory parameter here so if you want to put some description to your stored procedure uh, we can put by using this comments okay and execute as okay so there can be two values for this execute as caller or execute as owner so just try to understand whoever creates this program that user or that batch id will be will be the owner of this program or suppose uh, uh, just assume uh, one of your team member has created this this stored procedure and all your team members are using this program okay so the one who has created this program is the owner of this stored procedure and rest all the team members are callers so we are specifying to this program so you want to execute this program as a caller or as a owner okay because the permissions will change owner have uh, different permissions and uh, maybe caller caller has uh, different permissions okay so by considering all those things we have to choose execute as a caller or execute as a owner so i prefer execute always as a caller because you are running this procedure right so run with your permissions okay so the second thing is declaration section so where we declare all the variables okay so the variables uh, can be of any type like uh, they can be numeric type like integer uh, decimal number okay small int big int whatever it can be and uh, character type or string type okay so we can mention like var care of length or we can put as string and we can declare the variables of date and timestamp type okay and even we have to declare the cursors in the declaration section itself so what if you if you don't have idea what is a cursor so i will discuss in detail what is a cursor with the examples in the later sections okay 
and even we can uh, declare the result sets so even i will explain the result set with examples in the later sessions even the exception handling i will explain in the later sessions okay so these are all the different uh, uh, variables are uh, cursors results result set are exceptions we can declare in the declaration section so in detail we'll discuss about all these things in the uh, next slides or next sessions with the proper examples okay so the third section is body section okay so in this body section block only we write actual code so it can contain uh, sql statements it can contain simple arithmetic operations uh, string operations so branching statements like uh, case uh, case and decode or if else so conditional statements or it can contain uh, looping statements as well like loop uh, for loop while loop so all those things we write in the body section of this program so this is called body section and the last block is exception section so if you want to handle the exceptions occurring in, in your body section so you can handle them in the exception handling section so there are two types of exceptions okay so user defined or the exceptions caught uh, by default okay we'll explain this exception handling very in detail with a lot of examples in the later sessions okay so i hope you understood what are the sections different sections present while writing a stored procedure okay there are four sections create section so we can call them as blocks as well okay so create block declaration block actual body section block and exception handling block okay okay thank you let's see some sample stored procedures in this session okay so before that i want to create one database required schemas uh, some tables and uh, i'm inserting some data into those tables for our practice okay so you can just uh, take this file this is available in the resources page you can take uh, entire this one copy to snowflake uh, snow site okay so paste it here and create all the required schemas databases schemas tables and insert some sample data okay so this will be useful for our practice in the entire course okay so i have created all the required uh, tables and inserted data okay so now let's uh, take this programs sample program sample procedures from here and copy it to snow site okay now so if you haven't created this database and schemas yet so i am creating here create database if not exist emp and i am creating two schemas hr data where uh, i have created all the tables and inserted the data and this proc schema is for uh, creating all our stored procedures we can create in this uh, schema itself just for um, uh, just to make sure all our procedures we are creating will be in the schema procs so i am creating this schema okay so this has been completed and let's take one sample procedure okay i am creating a procedure create or replace procedure employee dot procs i am creating this procedure in the procs schema of employee database and my procedure name is this one and i am just using uh, uh, only one parameter uh, the parameter name is n of var care type okay and uh, this program will return a var care okay i am using sql language and comment this is just a sample program so comment is not mandatory it, it, it is optional and i am executing this as a caller okay so i will in this case i am the owner and i will be the caller so but uh, in most of the cases we will be executing stored procedures as a caller only in the real time okay as so this is the code inside that uh, body section okay so what i am saying begin okay return your good name is n okay so whatever we pass uh, the parameter to this program thus that will come here your good name is that name okay so this is my procedure so i am going to create it 
so i ran it and it is saying function uh, this one successfully created now let's run this procedure so how i am running by using the keyword called call call procedure name along with the database name and schema name and i am passing the parameter as sandeep so this is a fair care type so instead of n i am passing the value as sandeep okay so let's run this so what this will return okay your good name is sandeep okay so like this the function the stored procedure works and it will return the whatever we we are coding here so we just said return this uh, this sentence okay so it has given the same output your good name is sandeep okay so like the, this is very basic program just to understand like uh, uh, how to put this uh, create block and how to put this uh, begin and end and uh, how to call this procedure or how to execute this procedure just to show that I, I have created just one sample program one small sample program okay so the next one is uh, a procedure to find the square root of a given number so as an input i will be passing one number and the output will be like the square root of that number so i am creating a procedure okay create or replace procedure so the procedure name is uh, sp underscore sp means always stored procedure okay sp underscore find the square root of the input number ip number means input number of integer type returns float so the square root of a number can be integer or float that's why i am giving it as a return return as float okay uh, the language is sql and uh, putting some comment and executing as a caller and i am declaring a variable here if you see okay so i am declaring a variable called square root of float type and i am going to return this float variable at the end so what i am saying in the body section square root square root equals to square root of ip number so in my first course snowflake course i have explained even in my sql course i have explained there are a lot of numeric functions so one of them is square root sqrt sqrt of input number so what is this ip number so if you see the definition of the program so here i am passing a parameter as input number i am directly reading that number here so this number will come here and uh, so it will this square root function will calculate the square root of the given number and assign the results to the square root variable we have declared in the declaration section and i am returning the same return square root this one okay so let's uh, create this uh, stored procedure so sometimes i may call this procedures as a program okay just uh, don't confuse stored procedure program so whatever i call that means stored procedure only okay so the stored procedure was created and let's try to run so what i am saying call the procedure and i am passing the input number like this okay okay so so what is the square root of this number this is 162 points something like this okay and uh, so for your simple understanding you know what is the square root of 625 it is 25 right just i am running this 625 it is 25 the output is 25 okay so like this we can create stored procedures so from this video you just understand how to create a stored procedure and how to pass a parameter and how to return a value that's it okay so in the later videos later sessions we'll see uh, not these small examples i'll show you some hard examples okay thank you